아무도 그에게 수심을 일러준 일이 없기에 흰나비는 도무지 바다가 무섭지 않다. 아무도 means nobody. 아무도 뭐뭐한 일이 없다 or 아무도 뭐뭐한 적이 없다 means nobody has ever done something. 아무도 뭐뭐한 일이 없기에 it means because nobody has ever done something. 그에게 means to him. 수심 means depth of water. 수 means water and 심 means depth. So put together, 수심 makes the depth of water. 일러주다 means to tell or to inform or to notify. So the first line of the first stanza, 아무도 그에게 수심을 일러준 일이 없기에 means because nobody has ever told him about the depth of the water. Now let's move on to the second line. Hin, which comes from Hida or Hayata, means white. Nabi means a butterfly. Therefore, Hin Nabi makes a white butterfly. Tomuji Momohaji Anta is a collocation that's translated as not at all. Tomuji Musopji Anta. 무섭다 means scared. So 무섭지 않다 makes not scared. And if you say 도무지 무섭지 않다, it means not scared at all. 도무지 바다가 무섭지 않다. 바다 is the sea. So if you say 도무지 바다가 무섭지 않다, it means not scared of the sea at all. To put them all together, 흰 나비는 도무지 바다가 무섭지 않다. The white butterfly is not scared of the sea at all. So let's read the whole first stanza. 아무도 그에게 수심을 일러준 일이 없기에 흰 나비는 도무지 바다가 무섭지 않다. Because nobody has ever told him about the depth of the water, the white butterfly is not scared of the sea at all. 아무도 그에게 수심을 일러준 일이 없기에 흰 나비는 도무지 바다가 무섭지 않다. Because nobody has ever told him about the depth of the water, the white butterfly is not scared of the sea at all. Now to the second stanza. 청무 받침가 해서 내려갔다가는 어린 날개가 물결에 절어서 공주처럼 지쳐서 돌아온다. 무 means radish, but nowadays you spell it 무 instead of 무우. 무우 is the old way of spelling it. 청 means green or blue depending on the context, but in this case it means green because there's no such thing as um, blue radish. At least not in Korea. Bat means a field, so Cheongmu bat means a green radish field. Momo inga heso means you presume something to be something. So if you say Cheongmu bat inga heso, it means somebody's presuming something to be a green radish field. Here, the subject has been omitted in this sentence, which happens a lot of times in the Korean language, but you can still deduce it from the context. And here, the subject should be the butterfly, and the butterfly is mistaking the sea for a reddish field. 내려갔다 means went down. 내려갔다 가는 means went down and then, or went down but then depending on the context. Let's put the first line together. 청무 받침가 해서 내려갔다 가는 Presuming it was a green radish field, he went down to the sea, but then... Let's see what happens next. 어린 comes from 어리다, which means young. And 날개 means wings, 
So Orin Nage makes young wings, but with a connotation of being frail. Mulgyal means waves or ripples on the surface of water. Cholda or Chotta means get soaked, get wet. So if you say Mulgyal Cholda, Mulgyal Chotta, it means to get soaked or get wet by the waves. Gongju means a princess. And Momo처럼 means like something or like someone. So if you say Gongju처럼, it means like a princess. And Chichida means to be tired, to be exhausted, to be weary. So Gongju처럼 지쳐서 should mean weary, like a little princess. 돌아온다 means to come back. So the second line and the third line all together. 어린 날개가 물결에 절어서 공주처럼 지쳐서 돌아온다. He comes back, weary like a little princess, with his young frail wings soaked by the waves. Now together with the first line, 청무 받침가 해서 내려갔다가는 어린 날개가 물결에 절어서 공주처럼 지쳐서 돌아온다. Presuming it was a green radish field, he went down to the sea, but then comes back as weary as a little princess, his frail young wings soaked by the waves. Now on to the third stanza, which is the last stanza of this poem. 3월달 바다가 꽃이 피지 않아서 서글픈 나비 허리에 새파란 초생달이 시리다. 3월달 or 3월 refers to the month of March. And 바다 is the sea, so 3월달 바다 can be translated as the sea of March. 꽃 means a flower or flowers. And 꽃이 피다 means flowers bloom or a flower blooms. But 안타 here negates that. So 꽃이 피지 않다 means flowers don't bloom. And 꽃이 피지 않아서 means because flowers don't bloom. 서글프다 means to be sad. So if you say 꽃이 피지 않아서 서글프다, you are sad because flowers don't bloom. 허리 refers to the waist or the lower back part of your body. So 나비 허리 should mean the back of the butterfly, but especially that tiny midpoint between the butterfly's chest and his abdomen, because by using the word hori, the waist, it seems like the author is trying to refer to that part of your body where it curves in below the chest. And nabi hori means on the butterfly's back. Parata means to be blue, and separata it means to be blue in a very vivid and deep way. And chosengdal is a crescent moon, so if you say separan chosengdal, it refers to a deep blue crescent moon. Shirida means something feels cold, and if you say separan chosengdal is shirida, it means the deep blue crescent moon feels cold. So, 나비 허리에 새파란 초생달이 시리다 means the deep blue crescent moon feels cold on the butterfly's back. Now, let me go through the whole stanza. 3월달 바다가 꽃이 피지 않아서 서글픈 나비 허리에 새파란 초생달이 시리다. Saddened by the absence of flower on the sea of March. The butterfly feels the chill of the deep blue crescent moon on his tiny back. 3월달 바다가 꽃이 피지 않아서 서글픈 나비 허리에 새파란 초생달이 시리다. Saddened by the absence of flower on the sea of March, the butterfly feels the chill of the deep blue crescent moon on his tiny back. As a wrap-up, let me recite the whole poem and the translation. 바다와 나비 김기림 지음 아무도 그에게 수심을 일러준 일이 없기에 
흰나비는 도무지 바다가 무섭지 않다. 청무밭인가 해서 내려갔다가는 어린 날개가 물결에 절어서 공주처럼 지쳐서 돌아온다. 3월달 바다가 꽃이 피지 않아서 서글픈 나비 허리에 새파란 초생달이 시리다. The Sea and the Butterfly by Kim Kirim Since nobody's ever told him about the depth of the water, the white butterfly isn't afraid of the sea at all. Presuming it to be a green radish field, he goes down to the sea, but then comes back as weary as a little princess, his frail young wings soaked by the waves. Saddened by the absence of flower in the sea of March, he feels the chill of the deep blue crescent moon on his tiny back. <laughs>